voice of the Woodruff Wolverines, Rich and Lane. Tonight, a meeting of old school and new school. Woodruff, one of the state's most storied programs with 10 state championships, looks to reclaim the glory of the past. While Westwood, a new kid on the block, hopes to make a statement in its own backyard. The Wolverines limp into the postseason while the Red Hawks soar in. But all that matters on a November night is that they're both still here. The five-state journey to the state title begins just miles from the state capital. Woodruff versus Westwood live from the Midlands. It's Friday night. Westwood on top of Woodruff, 10-3, to 7.50 to go in the second quarter. Rickson Lane and Tom Mobley with you at District Stadium. Going to be taken by Drummond, backpedaling to the five. Trying to look for a seam up the middle of the field, and the Red Hawks were there. Minimal return for Kenny Drummond, who came into the night averaging over 29 yards per kickoff return, but this is going to set up the Wolverine offense back towards their own end zone. They will mark him down at the 11-yard line, first and 10, 7.45 to go in the half. Two receivers both ways for Kevon Gist. Shotgun snap, screen pass. He's got to Kenny Drummond, hit hard, spins away from a tackler, and finally ambushed back down around the 10-yard line. Looked like he was going to be just smacked by the first tackle, and he somehow got away as the Calvary came and brought him down. For a short gain, they might give him a yard, if anything. They'll say no gain on the play. Two receivers both ways. Gist in the gun. Looking. Plenty of time. Over the middle of the field. Brandon Stites comes down with it. Takes a hard hit, but he's brought down around the 35-yard line. A nice job by Stites. He had that pass bounce off his hand in the first half. That would have been a touchdown. Be a 24-yard gain. First and 10 from the 35-yard line. Gist looking, looking. Time. Throwing deep. Going to be a jump ball for Blake Bone. He went up and he came down he with it. it. He, had, he, he came it. down with it at the 21-yard line. Juggling. Brings it down. My Over good. Tyreek Bell, the north-south selection. And the Kentucky commit wins the battle. What a grab by Blake Bone. It's going to be a 44-yard reception. Blake going off to a blistering start, and my goodness, what a catch. It's the Wolverines in Red Hawk territory. Now that dump pass thrown off the hands of Isaac Rice. Blake Bone, the jump ball was actually thrown a little short, and he just leapt over Tyreek Bell, who stands six foot three. He's not a short defensive back. Tipped it up to himself, caught it almost in his armpit, pinned it against his rib cage. Wolverines with the ball again, deep in Westwood territory. Three receivers right side, Gist looking, escapes, going to pump it. Now going to loft it up off the hands of Demage Rooks. He had him right near the first down marker, and it just bounced off Demage's hands. It's going to step up third and 15. 6 6 to go in the second quarter, two receivers both ways. Gist in the gun. Pressure on the outside. He steps up in the pocket. Still looking. Nearly had the ball stripped away. Pump fake. Still running. And he's tripped up and falls down on the 35-yard line. Play took about half an hour. And now the Wolverines are going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. With 5.13 to go in the second quarter, you're listening to Wolverine football. Welcome back to Blythewood, South Carolina. District Stadium, the home of the Westwood Red Hawks. As they lead the Woodruff Wolverines by a score of 10 to 3, 5.13 to go in the second quarter. Rickson Lane and Tom Mobley with you. Empty backfield. Three receivers left. One to the right. Tight end left as well. Giss steps up in the pocket. Going to throw it deep for the end zone. Blake Bone is there. He, he comes down it. with it. Give it to him in the back corner. Touchdown, Woodruff Wolverines. Blake Bone can bail you out of a fourth and 26 better than any wide receiver in the country. And we're a Kyle Britton extra point away from being tied up here in Blythewood. Class of 2013 seniors, Woodruff High School, thanks you. 38-10 the final score. Westwood over the Wolverines in round one of the 3A playoffs. They advance to play Greer or Emerald next week. And for the Wolverines, their season ends at 5-6. and six. I can tell you right now, Coach Brian Lane, by December 1st, training is going to start up, and it'll start up with a vengeance. Wolverines in their season at 5-6, and six, a loss to Westwood, and good luck to the Red Hawks as they either travel to Greer next week or take on Emerald. For Tom Mobley here in the studio, Jim Abercrombie pushing the buttons, keeping us on the air. Thanks for tuning in with us all season long. Your final score, 38-10, to 10, Westwood 
over Woodard. Have a blessed night, everybody. We'll talk to you next fall.